And now we're recording a, a demonstration of how to create a magic square model to solve the puzzle where nine numbers are rearranged so all the totals add up to 15. Okay, you start by opening up Excel and then you highlight cells A1 <coughs> through to F6. So not, uh, 36 cells have been selected. That allows us to change the row height and the column width. So you then go to Format, Column Width, by looking at Column Width and changing the column width to 8. That makes the column width all the same. You then, while keeping those same cells selected, go to Format again and go for Row Height, Format row height and format the row height to be 40. What this does is makes the squares that you've selected looking more, or making the cells that you've selected looking more like squares rather than flat rectangles. The next thing you do is highlight the middle nine squares from B2 through to D4. So select B2 to D4 and put a border around them, a thick box border, so it's highlighted the nine cells that you're going to work on. You can then put a shaded border around into those yellow squares to make them go yellow. Yeah, and now we're going to put the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 into those boxes. To begin with, it's easy enough to just put the 1, 2, 3, come below it to go 4, five and six and finish off by calling seven eight and nine now you can now format these numbers that you've put in by selecting those centering them making the font of them go much bigger so it starts to look like a proper magic scale with bigger size numbers and you can even format these numbers not make them too big format these numbers by coloring them say purple so now we've got the one two three four five six seven eight nine in the square all looking good. Now we now want to start adding up, or, get, or rather getting Excel to add up what the totals of these rows and columns are. The easiest one to start is the first column. So we want the answer to go there. In that cell we want to add up what 1, 4 and 7 is. And the formula that you put in is equal sum and you then open up your brackets and select the three numbers. Yeah, so selecting those three numbers should give a total of 12. That's correct because 1, 7, add 4 is 12. And then if we centre that number, make that one a little bit bigger, yeah, we can see that that's the first answer button that we've got. Now, the next one is exactly the same process <coughs> equals sum. Open the brackets up and select the three numbers. Close the brackets off. It should give you the total of 8, 5 and 2, which I think is 15. Here's a little trick. If you want it to be formatted the same, click on the 12, use the format painter and then select on the 15 and it gives you the same size. Third one again, equals sum. Select, open the brackets up, select the three numbers, close the brackets and it gives you 18. Going across the other way, exactly the same principle, equals sum, open brackets up, drag across the 1, 2, 3, close your brackets and it should give you six. This one works very nicely in that you can grab on the little corner there and pull it down so it gives you the same ones. Okay, if we now revise the format painter, two clicks on the format painter means those numbers have added up to the same. Nearly there, nearly finished. We've got six of the formulas in. We need the diagonal, which is equal to, equal sum doesn't work for the diagonal. You need to click on B2, add, C3, add, D4. And that gives you the first diagonal and the other diagonal exactly the same way equals D1 plus C3 plus B4. That adds those three diagonals up, or those three numbers in the diagonal up. Format paint those so that they look the same. And we are close to completing. We now save the work. Save it nice and early on as magic squares into your unit one folder. I'm going to put mine into my Perbeck folder. So I call it magic squares. Okay, we'll save that. And now, all we need now to do is to try and rearrange the red numbers, in, the red numbers on yellow, so that all the ones on the outside add up to 15. Now you do it by swapping. So if you think, well, let's see what happens if we swap the three and the nine over. We click on the three and replace it with nine. We click on the nine, replace it with three. 
and the numbers start on the outside, start to change round. The trick is to get the numbers in there in the right places so that all the numbers on the outsides add up to 15. And that, I think, completes the demonstration.